In the depths of Siberia's Denisova Cave, nestled within the Altai Mountains, a fragment of bone no larger than a pebble emerged as a key to unlock a hidden chapter in the story of human history. This fragment belonged to Denny, an individual who lived more than 50,000 years ago and whose genetic blueprint revealed a lineage like no other, a first-generation hybrid with a Neanderthal mother and a Denisovan father. The discovery of Denny's remains stands as a groundbreaking testament to the interbreeding between two distinct hominin groups previously thought to be more isolated in their journeys. Denny's DNA is a time capsule that provides a snapshot of the genetic diversity in the late Pleistocene era. The analysis of Denny's DNA, a feat of modern scientific techniques, unveiled a world where the boundaries between different hominin species were more blurred than previously imagined. This singular find not only confirms the coexistence of Neanderthals and Denisovans, but also provides direct evidence of interbreeding, understanding the genetic heritage of ancient hybrids like Denny, can reveal how our ancestors adapted to their environments. The implications of this discovery are profound, reshaping our understanding of human ancestry. It challenges the notion of hominins living in isolation and suggests a history marked by migration, interaction, and genetic exchange. Denny's unique genetic heritage offers invaluable insights into the complexities of human history. It underscores the interconnectedness of different human species and illustrates the dynamic nature of our past. Nestled in the lush valleys of the Altai Mountains in Siberia, the Denisova Cave serves as a portal to a bygone era, a place where layers of sediment whisper tales of ancient inhabitants. This unassuming cavern, discovered in the 1970s, has since become a crucible of paleoanthropological discoveries, reshaping our understanding of ancient hominins. The cave's remote location in a region where human presence dates back to the Middle Paleolithic period makes it an invaluable site for unraveling the mysteries of early human history. The exploration of Denisova Cave has unveiled a treasure trove of archaeological and anthropological significance. It is here that the first evidence of the Denisovans, an elusive group of ancient hominins, came to light through the analysis of a tiny fingerbone fragment in 2010. This discovery was monumental, not only because it identified a previously unknown group of hominins, but also because it did so through genetic analysis rather than traditional fossil records. Subsequent discoveries, including teeth and other bone fragments, have further solidified the presence and characteristics of Denisovans. But the cave's revelations do not stop with the Denisovans. It has also yielded numerous Neanderthal remains and artifacts, providing a rare overlap of these two distinct hominin groups. The presence of both Neanderthal and Denisovan DNA in the sediment layers of the cave indicates that they might have inhabited the cave at different times and possibly even interacted with each other. The artifacts found within the cave, including stone tools and ornamental objects, offer a glimpse into the material culture of its ancient residents. These findings suggest a level of technological and possibly cultural sophistication, providing clues about the daily lives, survival strategies, and social structures of these early hominins. The significance of Denisova Cave extends far beyond its physical confines. The genetic evidence unearthed here has revolutionized our understanding of human history. The cave's findings have shown that the genetic legacy of both Denisovans and Neanderthals lives on in modern humans, particularly in certain populations in Asia and Oceania. In the intricate history of humanity, Neanderthals and Denisovans emerge as two distinct yet interwoven threads, each contributing unique patterns to the fabric of our ancestry. Neanderthals, robust and hardy, roamed across Europe and parts of Western Asia, they thrived in a range of environments, from harsh glacial landscapes to milder Mediterranean climates, roughly between 400,000 and 40,000 years ago. Their distinct physical attributes, a stocky build, prominent brow ridges, and strong muscular frames, were well adapted to their challenging habitats. Neanderthals were skilled toolmakers and hunters, their culture rich with hints of symbolic thought, as evidenced by their burial practices and possible use of pigments. The Denisovans, more shadowy figures in our ancestral narrative, are known primarily through genetic footprints and sparse fossil records. 
Unearthed primarily in the Denisova cave, these elusive hominins are believed to have lived around the same time as, and possibly longer than, the Neanderthals. While much of their physical appearance remains a mystery, genetic analyses suggest they were widespread across Asia, contributing significantly to the genetic makeup of present-day populations in Asia and Oceania. Denny, the half-Neanderthal, half-Denisovan girl, stands as a living testament to the intersection of these two groups, her existence, revealed through the analysis of a fragmentary bone, directly evidences the interactions between Neanderthals and Denisovans. Through Denny, we glimpse a past where the rigid boundaries of species dissolve, revealing a more fluid and interconnected human history. Her lineage underscores the complexity of hominin interactions and migrations, providing concrete evidence of a shared chapter in the story of Neanderthals and Denisovans, a chapter that continues to inform and reshape our understanding of human history. The journey to uncovering her unique genetic lineage is a testament to the incredible advancements in genetic analysis techniques and the power of international collaboration in science. At the core of this discovery was the sophisticated technique of ancient DNA analysis. This process involves extracting and sequencing DNA from ancient specimens, a task fraught with challenges. Ancient DNA is often highly degraded and contaminated with microbial DNA, making it difficult to isolate and analyze. Scientists must work in ultra-clean laboratories and use specialized techniques to prevent contamination and accurately sequence the ancient DNA. In Denny's case, it was the meticulous sequencing of her bone fragments' DNA that unveiled her dual heritage, advanced sequencing technologies capable of deciphering the genetic code from minute and degraded samples were crucial. Bioinformatic tools then played a pivotal role, allowing scientists to compare these sequences with known Neanderthal and Denisovan genomes, revealing the mixed ancestry. The discovery of Denny's lineage was also a triumph of international scientific collaboration, teams from different countries bringing together diverse expertise in archaeology, anthropology, and genetics worked in concert. This collaborative effort was essential not only for the sharing of technology and resources, but also for the interdisciplinary analysis required to interpret the genetic data in the context of human history. Moreover, the analysis of Denny's DNA marked significant breakthroughs in the field of paleogenetics. It pushed the boundaries of what was thought possible in terms of extracting and analyzing DNA from ancient remains. The discovery of Denny as a first-generation hybrid reveals that interbreeding among different hominin groups was not only possible, but occurred with a frequency greater than previously assumed. This genetic exchange points to a past where the boundaries between hominin species were more permeable, indicating a level of interaction that goes beyond mere coexistence. The implications of such interbreeding are significant. It suggests a shared evolutionary journey where genes were exchanged, potentially offering adaptive advantages. For modern humans, this ancient interbreeding has left a genetic imprint. The presence of Neanderthal and Denisovan DNA in modern human genomes, particularly among certain populations in Asia and Oceania, can be traced back to these prehistoric encounters. This genetic inheritance has implications for various aspects of our biology, from immune responses to physical attributes and possibly even behavioral traits. The study of these genetic legacies continues to reveal how ancient interbreeding has shaped our species. Beyond genetics, the social and behavioral implications of these interactions are equally fascinating. The willingness of different hominin species to engage with each other, as evidenced by the existence of individuals like Denny, suggests a level of social flexibility and perhaps even mutual understanding. It challenges the traditional view of ancient hominins as fiercely territorial and exclusively within group socializers. Instead, it portrays a scenario where different groups could interact, share spaces, and even form intimate bonds. Denny's discovery has catalyzed a renewed interest in the study of ancient DNA, pushing scientists to explore further the genetic relationships between different hominin species. It has underscored the importance of genetic analysis in understanding our evolutionary past, complementing traditional fossil-based approaches. Ongoing and future research projects inspired by Denny and the findings from Denisova Cave continue to push the boundaries of what we know.
researchers are now more actively looking for genetic evidence of interbreeding among hominins in other parts of the world. This includes examining ancient DNA from various sites in Europe, Asia, and Africa to better understand the geographical spread and extent of hominin interactions. Furthermore, the technological advancements in ancient DNA analysis, spurred by discoveries like Denny's, are enabling scientists to extract and analyze genetic material from increasingly older and more degraded samples. We will continue to update on any new developments on this front. In the meanwhile, please subscribe and support the channel for more such content. Thanks for watching.